In this video, I will show you how to prep for a job interview with Final Round AI. So, you can check the link in the description. Now let's get started. Now we all know that job interviews can be really frustrating and can be nerve-wracking. So personally, I remember my first time, I'm a first uh, job interview, and I was really worried how it performed and something along the lines here. Just generally worried and anxious if I'm going to get a job. Now, that can be really frustrating, especially for people that doesn't have the skills for it. And honestly, I don't have the skills for it in the first time I, I got my job interview here. But how can you practice? Well, this is where Final Round AI's mock interview actually comes in. Now, how do we start using it? Now, first things first is you want to go to Final Round AI and just log in into your account. And you want to go and just click on mock interview at the left side here. Now, the thing with this one is you have multiple options that you could choose uh, to uh, set up your interviewer here. Like you have like uh, multiple personalities or figures out there that you could use as a basis or as a base here for your interview. But you could also get the standard inter interview here if you want. Now, you need to choose the company position as well in here. Now, before proceeding with the actual mock interview, I would highly recommend you to upload your resume so that the questions are going to be a lot more personalized if you're going, going to proceed with the mock interview. So just in case, you want to go just uh, click on your AI drive here and click on upload, or you can even create your own resume editor here. So just in case, like, for example, you don't have a resume yet and you're just uh, planning on start using it. Well, this is actually really cool. Because in here already, you could fill, fill out the necessary details, like your personal details, your work experience here, your education and your projects, and also the skills that you currently have. Now, there are a lot of other things that you could do in here, obviously, but I would highly recommend you to fill out and just enter your resume or your experience at least in here so that you have a basis here or a starting point, a starting, starting point here when you're going to use File or AI. Now, once you've done that, we want to go and just proceed with the mock interview. Now, I'm assuming you already did that. So let's go and click on mock interview again. And let's go and click on video call. Now, in here, you need to fill out some basic info. So first is what is your role? So I'm going to say I'm going to be a product manager at Google. And from here, let's go and choose a resume. And I honestly, I want to use the management consultant PDF that I uploaded here. Now, from here, you want to go and just select your knowledge domain here. Now, there are a lot of options that you could choose from in here, like general, software engineering, data, marketing, and a lot more. As an example, maybe I'm going to use software engineering. Now, let's go and click on launch to get started with our mock interview. Now, the great thing about this AI, it works like uh, similarly to um, an interviewer. Now, in here, what we need to do is you want to go ahead and basically choose uh, your camera here. And also the microphone that you're going to use. Now I'm going to use my microphone here, like this one. So just make sure it's going to move. So that's actually, you're actually using it. And in here, you want to go and just choose your camera if you want. Now let's go and just click on allow while visiting this site. And our camera and our, um, this case, our microphone is now active. Now, as you can see right now, it's now going to start uh, welcoming us into our interview. So we're going to click on done here. So it's going to say, welcome to your mock interview. Let's get started and focus on showcasing your strength. Now, in here, what do we need to do next? Consider frameworks like JDBD or Rice and think about trade-offs and key metrics. Consider frameworks like JD metrics. Now, currently, it just asked me the first question here for our uh, interview. As you can see right now, it's quite very specific here, but you could go and just answer this as you would. And basically, it works like your talking to a real person. So you just need to stop talking here in order for you to get a response from the AI itself. So let's go and just tone it down a bit here. Sure thing, let's keep it simple. How would you set the vision and pick the top three features for Google's new AI search product while making sure we respect user privacy and deliver fast results? Now you could go and just respond with the question that they ask here and as you can see right now, I'm just like, it's like I'm talking to a real person right now. So honestly, it will give you some feedback, uh, ask additional questions or relevant questions here, which is kind of cool. You don't get that by just practicing by yourself or uh, with yourself, which is really cool, honestly. 
Now, there are other tools that you could use in here. As you can see at the top right here, if you want to access your settings here, like uh, turn on a few things, per uh, your permissions or copilot here, uh, and a lot of other things here that you could set, like the copilot temperature, performance speed here, mode preference, and a lot more. Now, I could also like end the call just in case and also choose your microphone here just in case your, your microphone suddenly stops working. If you click on this one, this changes the uh, actual color of the screen if you want to have this in dark mode. So yeah, again, you can just stop talking here and it will respond to whatever you're saying. Got it. Whenever you're ready, could you walk me through how you'd set the vision and pick the top three features for Google's new AI search product while keeping privacy and speed front and center? Think now, once you are done or if you want to end the uh, interview a lot earlier here, you could go you could go and just click on the end button at the top right here and that would end your current session. You just need to click on end or yes, end it so that you will end your current session here or interview session. And basically, it's going to say, well done, you're finished your interview with your with our AI co-pilot. Now, since we've just completed our mock interview or our AI mock interview here, how do you know exactly how you perform with that interview? Well, this is where the record tab here actually comes in. So if you go to mock interview, you go to record here, it should give you your current interview that we just did here. As you can see, there's a read report here. Let's go and click on it. And that would show you your uh interview analysis and uh, the QA analysis here, which in this case, it will give you the questions and the answer summary here. Now, it will give you like uh, what uh, the summary of what you said in here and also what's the strengths and the follow-up questions and the clarification needed here. So your, you, uh, your response could have in, uh, included a brief introduction about yourself or your strengths. So there are some suggestions here uh, on what to say on certain questions. Now, the great thing about this one is you can, you can even like visit different questions or specific questions here that you may need or you want to know how you perform and what to improve on. So yeah, so this one is really cool because you get a summary of what you, how you answered, how you performed. Now, honestly, it's better than you just practicing with yourself or with someone uh, that doesn't even have the knowledge to uh, say or to respond or uh, give you some uh, details or some critic here and how you perform but yeah so that's it so use in the link the description to sign up and get your first interview faster